There are linguistic subtleties in the Quran that the Prophet ﷺ could not have known. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kafa ya ain saad, dhikru rahmati rabbika abdahu Zakariya. The name Zakariya in Hebrew means the mention of the Lord. This is what it, his name, Zakariya, in Hebrew means the mention of the Lord. So this verse is a play on words. Dhikru rahmati rabbika abdahu Zakariya. The mention of the mercy of your Lord to his servant, the mention of the Lord. This is, there's this beautiful, subtle symmetry in this one ayah. The author of this ayah knew Hebrew. There's no doubt about it. If a Jew living in the Hijaz heard this verse, his ears would perk up. He would notice the subtlety. Another example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمْرَأَتُهُ قَائِمَةً فَطَحِكَتْ فَبَشَّرْنَاهَ بِإِسْحَاقِ That the wife of Ibrahim alayhi salam, she laughed, and then we gave her glad tidings of Isaac. Isaac means laughter. And then it says, وَمِنْ وَرَائِهِ is وَمِنْ وَمِنْ وَرَائِ إِسْحَاقِ يَعْقُوبِ وَمِنْ وَرَائِ إِسْحَاقَ يَعْقُوبِ And then following Isaac, Jacob. The name Isaac means laughter in Hebrew. The name Jacob means to follow or to come after. This is a type of wordplay that adds to the eloquence and brilliance of the Qur'an. Whoever composed this verse knew Hebrew. Of course we know this is a revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'll give you another example. There's, there's hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of these types of examples. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about Yahya alayhi salam, وَحَنَانَ مِنْ لَدُونَ وَزَكَاتًا وَكَانَ تَقِيَّةً Now Yahya is John, John the Baptist, peace be upon him, most probably. The Quran calls him Yahya, meaning he lives because he was martyred. And the martyrs are alive. بَلْ أَحْيَا عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ يُرْزَقُونَ They're alive with their Lord, receiving sustenance from their Lord. But the Hebrew name of John is Yohanan, which is related to Hananan. وَحَنَانَ مِنْ لَدُونَ وَزَكَاتًا وَكَانَ تَقِيَّةً This is the only occurrence of this word in the entire Qur'an. And it's describing Yahya alayhi salam because it actually relates to his historical name. These are subtleties that go over the head of 99% of the Qur'an's readers. The author of the Qur'an is playing with these languages in a masterful way.